Minnesota's lush fields and abundant water sources have long been an important part of the state's identity, its quality of life, and economy. Today, with improved data and monitoring, we understand more than ever the challenges of protecting this valuable resource. Water quality monitoring shows increasing levels of nitrate, a chemical pollutant in both surface and groundwater. One source of nitrate is manure from animal feedlots. Manure contains nitrogen, a valuable fertilizer. When it's applied to farm fields, some nitrogen naturally converts to nitrate, which is water soluble, meaning it can move easily with the flow of water. To help keep nitrates out of Minnesota waters, MPCA permits require farmers and feedlot operators to use best management practices, such as planting cover crops, and buffers. But some areas of Minnesota are especially vulnerable to nitrate. The southeast and north central parts are home to large areas with karst susceptible bedrock and coarse textured soils. This geology allows nitrate to move easily through soil and into groundwater, making it more likely to contaminate sources of drinking water. With our improved understanding of how nitrate affects the environment, the MPCA is updating requirements in two feedlot permits due to be renewed soon. These include the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, or NPDS, which is a federal five-year permit that expires in January 2026, and the State Disposal System, or SDS, a 10-year permit that expires in May 2025. We are addressing three areas related to manure application, timing of application, visual inspections, and manure ownership. As far as timing is concerned, farmers who apply manure in the fall would be required to plant cover crops. Changing to spring application is also an option. For inspections, farmers must visually inspect crop fields where manure was applied at least once during the application and at the end of each workday. If manure is not mixed into the soil, additional inspections are required within 24 hours of a rainfall. And finally, manure ownership. Farmers who receive manure from a permitted facility must follow the application requirements of the permits. The MPCA acknowledges that these changes may be significant for farmers, but by working together to reduce nitrates and protect our waterways, we will ensure a healthy environment for future generations.